Um, I'm going to start off with mixing up um, a shadow colour and um, I see in the photograph uh, there's a, a feeling of, uh, there's quite a lot of purple in the shadows, which is interesting because purple is the uh, complementary colour to yellow. Uh, and if we're putting complementary colours next to each other, we're emphasising. The yellow will be emphasised as yellow if it's next to purple and vice versa. So uh, I'm going to mix up a, a shadow colour using, uh, I'm going to use ultramarine blue, which is uh, a sort of dark, warmish blue there because it's got red in it naturally and I'm going to um, tone that down by bringing um, uh, say burnt some burnt sienna in it, it could be it could be um, a red color but that might make it too purple in fact I would like it to be a bit more purple so I'm going to bring in a little bit of crimson just add that. Now I'm going to play around with this for a while and I'm going to build up, that's gone too red. I'm going to go back to the blue and add the blue to that. Are you all able to see? My hand's not in the way, is it? You're all okay? You're, You're okay. Right, okay. So, so I've got, uh, I've got a colour like that which is a in fact, I'm going to make it a bit stronger because I might need some more of it. I, I, although I'll have a strong colour mix here, I can always weaken it by adding water to it. And a little bit more crimson just to give it a feeling of purple. And then back to a bit of burnt sienna. So what have I got now? If I put too much burnt sienna in, I'm going to go too brown. Um, I'm going to put a little more blue in there. All right, I've, I've created uh, a, a colour like that. Um, now, now I want to bring a shadow into my lemons. And I want to, um, if, I, if I get the photograph here, I, I, I want to be aware of these light areas here and here. Um, as well as what's going on here. And importantly, I want to try and get some sort of a, a gradation from light getting darker to it getting darker still. I, I'm just going to deal with the lemons at the moment, but one of the things to notice about these lemons, about shapes like this, is how much lighter the shadow is at the bottom. In, so it's not, it's not just light down to dark, it's actually light through darkness to dark, and then it gets a bit lighter again, where the light is bouncing back up uh, off the paper. Right, so how am I going to get these um, gradations running down here? And what I'll do for this is pick up some clean water. Oh, just 10 seconds, I've got to go and clean my water. <clears throat> okay, I've got some clean water here and I, I'll just do it on one lemon first, this one here. Uh, I'm, I'm going to put uh, some water down. This is where I want it to be dark around here. So I'm going to put some, and, and it gets gradually dark as it can. So I'm going to put some water sort of up above where um, I want it to be dark, bring the darkness in and let, let the water and the paint paint itself in a sense. So here we go. Let's just try it with this one. Uh, I've got some clean water. I'm just going to sort of 
bring it around like that a little bit. Uh, and, and now I want to be aware of just how much water I've got on here. Um, it's quite a lot actually. So let, let's so that here we go. And now going back to my shadow color, um, I'm going to put that so it runs underneath where the water is that I put on and will start to blend in a little bit, leaving that space there for Now, if I, if I wanted to um, soften it in, in the other area, may, maybe just a little bit here, I could just get some clean water and drop, drop it around and, and then let it paint itself. What's going on here? Uh, this is where you, want to do, you, could, you could turn your picture up that way so the, the dark shadow color runs into the water you put there but i'm just going to let it paint itself and i think um we we're always well it'd be well advised to just do that i'm going to add a little bit of water just there and and just let it do that now i'll go ahead and repeat the process here and then hand over to you let's do the other lemon um i've got all the sort of greenness up here of the lemon Bit like that, a bit there. Um, I, I'm not actually putting this into where I want the darkest bit to be. I'm just putting it where I want the midtones to be, and then I'll come in with the um, color that I painted here and let it do its thing. It's a bit of shade around here. Um, what's going on here? I'm just going to, um, this little bit, bit edge here, I'm just going to soften that just by Dumping it with a um, tissue, a little bit of water there, and maybe just a little bit more darkness here. Okay, so I did both lemons, one after the other there, just to go through that. So what I'm trying to get is the feeling of uh, a, a bit of um, a roundness of the lemons with the shadow going through different values till it gets a bit darker. Um, in fact, finally, I, I'm just going to take out some of that here where I talked about it being a bit lighter underneath. Okay, should we go with that? Good luck. Over to you.